Um, I think good fried chicken um, needs to be tender and juicy inside. It's got to have that crust on the outside that um, as soon as you bite into it, you just hear that crunch and you're, you know, your sensories just go off. You're like, this is fucking amazing. That is the money question for the day. Good fried chicken has to have that perfect combination of salty and spice, a little bit of sweet, a little bit of heat. Pre-seasoning. Um, I like to do a brine or a salt, a dry rub uh, a couple days in advance on all the chicken that I make, and it definitely like seasons it all the way down to the bone. Season it as you go, so you're not just putting flour on some unseasoned chicken and then you get something pretty bland. <laughs> Fried chicken, man, it's simple. It's simple, but it's, it's something that everybody just can't do. You know, nice flour batter, you know, little um, buttermilk batter to go with it, and, and you just mix them together, fry it till it's golden crispy, make sure it's done in the middle, and, and watch everybody enjoy it eat. You know, watch everybody enjoy the good food. I do uh, recommend curing your chicken. Um, we have a certain ratio, which again, I can't really divulge. But uh, curing your chicken is really, really important. It's salting, uh, salting your chicken. Um, I think if you brine your chicken very well, um, one or two days, it will work. Um, also, um, just making sure that you cook it at a low temperature, about 300 degrees, and it'll, you'll get a nice golden color. And with the brine, you'll get a nice searing flavor. I kind of do a trick. I do um, two different flours, two different types of flour, um, and I have a couple other secret ingredients in mind that I think makes um, a really good crust on the chicken. The oil definitely makes a big difference. Um, if it can't take um, high heat, then um, it's not going to. It's going to get real bitter. Um, with oils, I think um, the best way is to fry is in lard, in pork fat, um, or in schmaltz, chicken fat. Um, but I think right now what we can use is just like basic canola oil um, or, or coconut oil, something that can retain high heat temperatures. Seven or eight years, I've just been messing around trying to find that one elusive perfect recipe. You can never get it absolutely perfect, but every time you think you get it just right, you find some way to tweak it, make it just a little bit better. And you know, I just thank God for just blessing me with this gift, you know, and I just want to share it with San Diego and the rest of the world.